Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Lumafu. Uh, I just created a magic the gathering thing about who's its online account. Came with the packs, I figured I might as well buy the other ones and do my first ever online draft. So let's see how badly I'm gonna fail at the interface. So I'm just gonna pause it and come back when the draft starts. Okay, so it should be recording and I opened a solemn not too hard to pick, passing Bell Tower Sphinx, um, Incinerate. Oh, before I start, I should mention, I love going black red aggro, but Solemn's the pick. It's worth a few ticks as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a Solemn. What have we got here? We've got a Looter, a Blood Ogre, just because I love, like, forcing, um, also a Stormfront Pegasus. I want to say the Pegasus is the pick, just because I like going more aggressive white. Uh, so it's Pegasus, Looter, Blood Ogre for me. We've got an Alabaster Mage, which is also pretty good, but I think I'll just take the Stormfront Pegasus and hope to wheel something. So let's just see what we got. Ah, uh, that's a Lake Goblin G. Oh. Now, uh, it's nothing. It's nothing too insane. There's an Unsummon, or I could try and take a Guardian's Pledge and really overcommit. Um, mm, mm, mm. I like Goblin Chieftain, but not enough. I think I should take the Unsummon. I think going blue-white tempo, maybe wheel the Guardian's Pledge. I want to say that's the pick, so that's the pick. That's a late Cudgel Troll. Uh, green's totally open. Um, let's see. Black Sword of with Tormented Soul. Frostbreath is very good. I like it better than most people. So I think I will actually just take it, pass the Cudgel Troll, put the guy in my left, hopefully in green, and let's take a Frost Breath. <laughs> Another World Slayer. <laughs> um, I love a Win Avon Flip Fleetwing. 2-2 Two -two Flyer Hex was pretty good. It looks like blue is pretty open with that. Uh, there's also a Celestial Purge, a Stonehorn Dignitary, and Onyx Mage is very good. But I think I'm going to take the Fleet Wing, stick with blue, and see what happens from there. Alright, we've got Negate, Mind Rot, another, another good green card. Hmm. I'm not sure whether or not I should take that. Ah. Let's say Black's open. I'm not sure. I don't want to take a Negate. don't want to take any of those trinkets. I mean, Guru's Companion is the best card. And I'm not committed to white yet, so... And it looks like white's been cut pretty hard, so I'll actually take the companion and see what's happening. And we get rewarded with a Sacred Wolf. This is the best card. I mean, I really like Sacred Wolf. We get a troll head on it. It's pretty good. What else? There's Crumbling Colossus, which is okay. Yeah, I think I'll just take the Sacred Wolf. Blue-green's not a color combination I want to go into, but it's the best card. So, yeah. Let's see, so, right now we got a Solemn. Oh, what do we got here? Got a bear. Oh, that's an Arachnus web. That's really late. Yeah, I'll take the web. Not much else to really think about. Okay, so we've got an Ice Cage, which is okay. It's the only real playable combusted sideboard, so I'll take the Ice Cage. Ah, <sighs> not a good draft, but we opened a Solemn. And Solemn may be worth something, so... Hopefully it can help pay for another draft. Cancel, auto fail, sideboard, naturalize. Ah, I would love to play that, but I think I'll just take the sideboard, naturalize. Blue green looks okay. Kind of sucks. I passed that cudgel troll now. Should have taken it. Got overcommitted to my stormfront Pegasus. I like my blue. Green's okay. Let's just see what we tabled. Well, we did get a Guardian's Pledge. There's nothing else, and I don't want to take it. But I'm greedy, and I will take it over the Negate. And... No, I don't have nearly enough white. I'll take the Negate. Dorky 2-4, Giant Finisher. I will take the Giant Finisher. No, this format's too fast. Ah, eeny, meeny, miny, you. Take a World Slayer for me. We can have the Dragon's Claw. Okay. Um, land. So we've got uh, Solemn, 
And cards. Come on. Frost Titan. Frost Titan would be nice. Easy, nice and easy, and it's a vengeful pharaoh. But we got a pa we have a stinger fling spider, which is very, very good. There's also a shock mana leak, which I hope to table. But I'll take the stinger fling spider. It's uh, very, very good. Sucks I have to pass this pharaoh, but there's no way I'm playing black. So take the spider, and we get reward for cutting blue with factor fiction sphinx. Not much else. Giant bomb. What have we got? Magic Thief's okay. Swords Thirst, Grave Digger. There's the troll hide, but we will take the Sphinx. That'll hopefully win us a game or two. Yeah, that's that's a good card. That makes me happy. So yeah, kind of blue green's kind of where we're gonna go. Kind of sad blue green's not the best combination. Um so I'd, what would I like to pick up? Cidic Slime's pretty good. Um, yeah. I think Blue Green's where we want to be. Chasm Drake's also quite good. Greater Basilisk. Rampant Growth. So we might actually table something from this pack. But I'll take the Acidic Slime. It's very good. Um, hmm. I like Hunter's Insight more than most. I really shouldn't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hide the Storm from Pegasus. Sort. Okay, I don't want to play the naturalized main board or then maybe in the negate. What are we trying to do? We're trying to stall out to the late game. Hunter's Insight draws us cards. I like drawing cards. It's the only also the only other playable in our colors, so I'll take it. Um Benalish Veterans very good. Redirect's not good. I mean the only blue or green card is a bear. And I guess I'd play a 2 2 for 2 in this format where everyone's trying to build dorks. So, yeah. He's got a bear. <laughs> Normally I say that when I have a Phantasmal Bear. But I like the Sphinx, Cidic Slime, and Singer Fling Spider. So, we really want to get to the late. So, I like the Frost Breath. I'd like if I could pick another one up. But at least we know that blue's nice. And yeah, okay, so what have we got? We've got... Huh. The white's starting to come back around, but there was none pack one, so the guy to our right cut it pretty well. In the form of Warhorse, Celestial Purge. I think I'll actually take Titanic Growth. Uh, people don't expect it, and it's actually quite good if you were able to pull it off. I would like a few more creatures. And, I mean, if you're desperate for creatures, you, there's a Mesmerist. There's Goblin Tundler. Oh, what am I talking about? There's Stave Off. Wait, I'm not white. First thing I thought I was white, it's like, oh, Stave Off or Griffin Sentinel. No, I'll take the Mesmerist. Not be happy. But I'll take the Dork. Another Harbor Serpent, which I don't want. A Glade Cover Scout, which is not good. And a Brindle Boar, which I will probably take. Because I haven't seen any Troll Hides. And I don't want to overcommit to a 1-1 one, one for 1. It's not good. So I'll take the Brindle Boar. Um... I'll take the only card in a color. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, I'll take the troll hide. This troll hide sacred wolf actually is just unbeatable. Um, so we could take a rhino, a basilisk, or a growth. Uh, I don't want the growth, and I think if I have a five drop, I'd much rather have greater basilisk. Greater basilisk is very good. It's even harder with troll hide. Troll hide's maybe I have a horrible unbiased to this, but this is very good when you snap it on. Something that's decent. So with Sacred Wolf, or Greater Basilisk. Am I gonna? Would I take the Glaive Cover Scout if I had known I was getting this? The the Troll Head? Probably not. Cause it's not good. Okay. Um. So we've got. I would take a Siege Mastodon away from somebody. So this second pack went real. Sphinx Spider. Slime, late troll hide that wield. Pity there's not much removal we've gotten, which is the rough part. Most of the good removal is red in red and black, so this frost breath is gonna hopefully save us a few times. But if we get to the late game, we've. I might not even play a harvester because I like the Sphinx so much. Solemn helps us helps us get to Sphinx too. Uh, take. 
good card away. Take the flight. That just to cut off blue. And take an island. Okay. So much better. Still would like to open a Frost Titan or a Primeval Titan. Um, suck if I have to open Inferno. Oh, it's just a quick silver enemy. But that is... Ooh, the Foil Plumber and Normal Plumber. But that is, in fact, another Singer Fling Spider. And that is my favorite uncommon of the set. And I don't see anything else worth taking. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we table Land of War Elves, even Fleetwing, maybe one of these Plummets or Coral Merfolk. Let's see, uh, one, two... Yeah, I probably won't wheel anything that good, but Singer Fling Spider is very good. And I'm taking this Fireball, because you should never, ever, ever pass Fireball. So they took a common, so probably a foil over it. But Fireball is actually just the nuts. Um, I will splash red for it, and hopefully it's root bow crack table so I can splash it easier. But yeah, Fireball is insane. What have we got now? I'm going to splash it. I'd like to splash for incinerate too. Is that greedy? A little bit. But what am I, well, I going to play? It. A Chasm Drake, my five slots full. Splashing red! Okay, and uh, so now we've got the choice between Frost Bath and Divination. Um, I'd like to pick up more creatures. The Horse Cat doesn't count. So I will actually take the Frost Breath. Would I rather have a Frost Breath or a Divination? And I think I would actually have the Frost Breath more. Okay, so right now we're looking for. I'm going to hide this Negate, hide this Reclaim. I love Ether Adapts. I don't want to look at the rest of the pack, it's that good. Okay, so now we have a choice between another giant stupid bomb and a Chasm Drake and a Phantasmal Dragon. Um, hmm. You cast this guy, you win. But we have Sphinx. Yeah, I'll, I'll hide this Harbor server and play Carnage Worm. Hopefully, see if I can find some sort of smaller guys. Mana Leak's good. Mana Leak or Crocodile? Do I need creatures? I got 14 creatures. I will take the Mana Leak. Play a more control -y deck, splashing for Incinerate and Fireball. Um, probably won't play this Hunter's Insight, but we'll see. Ether, that's very good. I like how this is going so far. I'm going to hide this Mesmerist. I like to, I like to hide this Bear, too, which I probably will. Ice Cage is okay. I like Titanic Growth. Ah, oh, I love getting past Fireball. Okay, well, Solemn Splashing for Fireball or Incinerate's pretty good. So, fingers crossed. Uh, we'll see what else the guys got to our left is thinking a lot, so hopefully it's a tough choice and he gives us something good. Do, 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 do. It's not bad for a first draft. Solemn, hopefully it's worth something. I'll check it. I'll check it when I stop. When I pause recording, shouldn't like Carnage one so much. So basically, our high end is just the nuts. It's just a matter of getting there. Sacred Wolf into Troll Hide. I have to play that once. Ooh, ooh. Another unsummon, a Mana Leak or a Sphinx. I think our five slots full enough, and we got enough Giant Flyers. So I won't play the Sphinx. So the question is, would I rather have a Mana Leak or an unsummon? Um, I think I'd rather have the Mana Leak. We're playing a bit more controlly, and we want to get to late game, so Mana Leak it is. Hopefully that's the right call. Bell Tower Sphinx is... And we got, we tabled the Land of War Elves, which is very good. That's a one drop I really wanted. Both plummets tabled, but Land of War Elves is very good. Uh, from here, let's just take the cards I don't want to play against for the most part. So I'm not going to play Negate, I already have one. Uh, let's not play against that, because that would be irritating. I'll take a cancel. Probably won't play it, but I'll take it. Looks like an okay draft for me. Let's hide this Brindle Boar. Ah, I might have to, I might actually have to play it and not play one of my instants, because 12 creatures is, eh, it's okay. Do, 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 do. Double sting your fling spider is good. Uh, take the harbor serpent. Take the claim. 
take the Guardian's Pledge because I hate... There's someone who's going to draft the Mono White Insane deck with Guardian's Pledge, so... I'm glad I took two of them. Okay. On to Ye Olden Deck Building. Let's see, from the number of drafts I've watched, I know how to deck build on Magic the Gathering Online. But, um, we'll see. So we're playing Solemn, we're playing Elves. Play for that. Hunter's Inside, I'll actually play it. Hopefully our deck is not too slow for the format, which would make me really sad. Uh, frost Breath, Frost Breath, Aether Adept, Aven Fleet Wings, Sphinx. Puts it as 22 with 18 lands. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's look at our uh, convert mana cost. It's a pretty good curve, a little high up there, but seems good. So what would I want to do? Let's... Um, Add land, and let's see what it suggests. 396. With Solemn, I'd go 279. Just because Solemn counts as the last one. Maybe a little greedy, but yep, that's what we got. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Okay, it's working. I have no idea. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Uh, lost the die roll. He gets to pick. Then go to the good old GLHF. And yeah. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Hopefully watching drafts online has... Just making sure I was recording. Okay. Um, so he's picking the die roll. Probably gonna edit this out. Do 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 do. Do 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 And we're back. Um, hmm, he chose to play first, so I'm on the draw. And this is not, I mean, it's got fireball, but no red or anything, and no creature for troll hide, so I will mulligan. And I will not mulligan this hand. Okay, let's see what we got. So you got an island unsummon, got a solemn, which is gonna help if we ever get there. Opponent plays or is pretty slow, so I might have to pause and bring it back. Yep. Oh, my opponent showed up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, he played a planes and it took him eight minutes. Let's draw another another island. Incinerate's pretty good too. Um, I'd like to draw land, please. Let's see. Oh, I got an incinerate. Come on, come on, land. You can do it. Just just need one, maybe two. Okay. Plays planes. Passes. Uh, I don't like. Okay. Well, I've got a mana leak. That's gonna be useful when I draw land. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to discard. What should I discard? Carnage Worm, because I'm never gonna get around to casting it. Ah. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Value! <laughs> and I got my forest. Yeah! Two, three, four. Okay. When he goes to equip. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I think I'll just let it go. Ooh. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't think I'll do anything. 
probably could incinerate his guy, but I think I'm gonna wait till he goes to attack. Maybe greedy. But the second I draw lands, this is gonna get really good. Yep. Got there. Uh, do I want a Solemn for a Forest? Or even Fleetwing? I think I want to Solemn for a for or Solemn for an Island, sorry. Yes, I want to use the ability. I want to search up an island. Looks like he's a bit on the mana flood. Okay. Okay, that's nice. I'll play a forest and just pass. Two. Time of the reinforcements. Okay. You can have that. Two. Three. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. What would be the best play? Ether Depth the Token. Attack with Solemn. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Ether Adept. The token. Let's see if he'll trade two tokens. Two damage. Okay. Then I will play an island and cast an. Haven Fleetwing. Knowledge Veteran. Okay. Two. Put the sword. Okay. Well, how do I want to do this? I'm mean, definitely attacking with Solemn. Um. Attack with Fleetwing 2. Yep. And the Aether Depth's not gonna do anything either. Dare I race? No. Brackness. Okay. He's gonna just chump this. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. Yes, I want to draw a card. Ooh, that's good. Um, <laughs> play that, and I will not cast my Stinger Fin Square. Two, three, put the sword on the token. I think I'll trade. So I want to, nah, I don't want to take seven. Play a flyer. Okay, he's just gonna equip it. Okay, double frost breath means I'm just going to. Attack with my guy. I want to save this spider for value. I really do. Okay, well, I guess I'll just unsummon it because I fail at learning this interface. I'm cast it again. He's got so many cards in his hand, I'm really starting to get worried.
kind of wish I had that worm. Ah, oh, well, nothing you can do about it. If I could stop getting lands, please. You can attack me for one. It's only fair. Play a flyer so I can please kill it. That is, in fact, not a flyer. Ooh. Ooh. That made me happy. Okay. This just got insane. Attack before. When he goes to his combat step, I'll tap veteran and arsonist. the save off. Okay. I'm attacking what for five, six? Give me a ten. I think I'll just play the spider and not do anything else about it. You got me there. Save off is good. He attacks me for seven, but you know I forgot the knowledge better and stupid extra ability. Okay. Play a flyer. O ring. Okay, targeting my troll hide. That was that was that was good on his part. Ah, oh, that wouldn't have done anything. Getting at the end step. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll attack with the fleet wing. Do I want it? Yeah, well, it's already too late. I'll play the spider. Do I want to activate it? No. And I uh, could arachnus web something, but I'd rather not. Rough. Oh, that hurt. Okay. So I need to draw something good. A two? What'd be good? Not losing round one. Try and cast something big. Just try it. Okay, that's a chumper. And I think I will just arachnus web his tunneler just so he doesn't make his arsonist unblockable, then equip the sword to it. Dare I attack? I dare. Probably not the smartest play, but what am I gonna do? I can't even think what my outs are right now.
Take one. Hope to draw something good, because I can't kill the arsonist. He got there. Painful. Okay. So what kind of sideboard do I want? Um, hmm. So I don't like Arachnus Web. I like the Naturalize. Um, take out a Mana Leak for a Negate. And yeah, fingers crossed. Ugh. Probably played that wrong. I should have kept. <sighs> okay, here we are. I'm going to be on the play. And I'm not going to mulligan this and hope he doesn't have a fast hand. Hope it takes him forever to decide, too. That might be my only hope. Okay, deck, no more land, please. Just spells. Uh, okay. That's not exactly a spell I wanted to see. Yeah, you get in there. Don't play a spell, don't play a spell, don't curve out. Ooh. Next turn is gonna be painful. So he's gonna equip swords, swing for five. Yep, that's good. Ouchin. Seriously? Oh, that's so brutal. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Well, at least it's got reach, so I'll be able to trade for it. That's pretty rough. As long as he doesn't cast passivism, because that would suck. Yep, you got value from your from your two drop. Ooh. Do I ether adept it, make him waste another turn playing it? Yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make him waste as much time trying to replay that thing as possible. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn play a giant carnage worm if he doesn't. Yeah. Trample. Hopefully it does something. Probably gonna play pacifism on it. Okay. Two. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's so much value. Oh, hmm. Okay. 
take nine. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll just cast Acidic Slime, destroying his Sentinel. Yep. And that's value. Can I have the elves to... Okay. Got there this game. Didn't draw lands. Keeping what I've got. And game three. Oh, Here we are. Ooh. Ooh. Six lands, four drop. Yeah. Not gonna mulligan this. As long as he doesn't curve out and I draw some land. Yes. <laughs> Don't have turn two stormfront. Don't have to oh turn two stormfront. That sucks. Well, this could get really rough really quick. Does he have turn three sword? Now he's gonna attack me for two. And hopefully not play something. Oh no. Oh my goodness gracious. This could get very bad. This could get very, very bad. If I don't draw a thing, I might just be dead. Well, play the Sacred Wolf. And then I'll Acidic Slime his Great Sword. After he puts me to eight. Oof. Hmm. Came out so fast. It's so rough. Ah. Uh, what are my outs here? That there's an out. Um. Yeah. I think Hmm, so I wanna risk him having the If he has the stave off, I'm in so much trouble it's not even funny. I think I'll play the slime killing the sword. If I play slime killing sword, he attacks me for two, puts me to six. Uh yeah. Let's see what he's got. Four cards in hand is not good. Me at six life is also not good. Okay. Okay. Might just get there now. Um. <laughs> I think I'll just cast it during my end step, just to make sure. I'll just cast it now. All I need to do is cast Faction Friction Sphinx, and that will help. Oof. So rough. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, what... Uh, so he's probably gonna separate Stinger Fling and Frost Breath in different piles. I'll choose whichever one has the Stinger Fling Spider. Ah, that's the right separate, but I will pick pick that one. And um, yeah, here goes nothing. 
No attacks, and we're good. He has pacifism, am I just dead? Two, four, six, seven. Oh, ring's good. Am I just dead? First draft ever ended with failure. Ah, okay. Thank you guys for watching.